But praise God, praise God. Just got out of church. Me and my girl, the change church. I learned about Judas today. I never knew who Judas was. But he was the man next to the Lord, of course. I was going to say the man, but next to the Lord. Next to Jesus. Jesus came one day and listen, one of y'all boys going to betray me. All the disciples looking crazy. Oh, what are you talking about? Dang, like, it's, we under fire. One of the guys, like, hey, man, ask him what's going on. You feel me? I think that was that John. Somebody whispering, bro, what really going on with him? Who going to betray? He going to be the one I get a bread to. I dip it in the sauce and I hand it right to bro. Yeah, he going to be the one I betray. That, that betrayed me, the man next to me. He handed it to him, and the devil instantly jumped in the bro. He knew it. Judas betrayed God over, like, money. You feel me? I just seen that. But he was the closest person to him. A lot of, like, after betrayal, God lifts you up. You know what I'm saying? You become blessed in new seasons. I'm feeling overly blessed. Because I've been betrayed by people like they portrayed a Judas. But God's taking me to a new level. And where I'm going requires a new me. It requires my focus. It requires my everything. I got to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the mission I'm on. I'm used to everybody being around me for my birthday and everything like that. And we're still going to party. Everybody's still going to come. Everybody's invited. But I got a better feeling of things because it's like where I'm going, everybody can't go. And I understand these things had to happen now. So I just want to thank God, take the time to let Instagram and the world know that I'm learning things. You know what I'm saying? About the Lord, I've always been tied in, but now I'm learning things and I'm put, putting it to my life for real. And I'm really seeing how these characters are real life people. So praise God. Shout out to Change Church. You didn't like that? I like for the most part, I just feel like what he said, I'm encouraged by the fact he's going to church for one. Yeah. Two, he walked away with a lesson he could apply to his life that he feel like he can move forward yeah. with. But I, I just hope he continues to go and get further discipleship because I think many times when we hear about these biblical characters in the Bible, i.e. Jesus, like people automatically want to take the role of Jesus yeah. when in fact like, we are actually Judas. We are the ones who yeah. are the betrayers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We are not David. We are the Israelite people who scared while he's mm -hmm. protecting us by defeating Goliath. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not Moses. You know what I'm saying? I, so when I hear stuff like that, that's when it kind of bothers me a little bit. Yeah. We try to play the hero in the story, but the fact he's going to church and he's learning, he's on his journey, he's on the path where he's grabbing something and walking away with it, I'm glad to hear that. It, it, just, it just, my reaction to it was, man, we got so many church kids out there. Because mm -hmm. I think he sounded like a church kid that just didn't really know a lot. Like you, you were there, but you didn't really absorb a lot. And now he's finally absorbing it because it's, it sounded like a, a genuine, like, look what I just learned type thing when it's like, you, you know that, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like most of these things are like what? basic things, but I'm like his, his genuine expression was like, that's a good, that's a good, but I saw exactly when plane was like, whenever you try to say something Jesus went through means and you try to twist it to be like, yeah. see like now, now I'm, yeah, they're trying to attack me. They, tr it's like that's not the point. The point, like you said, the point is, is that we're the ones that Jesus has to deal with. Mm -hmm. He's the, we're the ones that he has to forgive. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't a story about our role in. We're not his um, role in the story. So. I, I like I like his I like his um, attitude towards I like that he's learning I like all that the caution is if if this was somebody that we were discipling or whatever right mm -hmm. the caution is try not to try not to make the story about you mm -hmm. people hating on you and all that does not put you in the same role as Jesus it's it's different well I'll say this um, I feel like he may have been somebody who grew up in church but. Right now, because he, he shouted out Change Church, that it, that does have an impact on him. That the the, pre, the preacher was have a message that impacted his life that he wanted to share. So, yeah, preferably that. is that is that 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 will continue to grow him and that he can grow in the Lord. Him and his girlfriend grow in the Lord, and then that you know things would change in his life. That he'd be like, wow. I think sometimes um, I've heard this saying. I don't know how true it is. I've heard somebody say like, and you may have heard this too. Um, Put yourself in the Bible. Have you ever heard somebody say mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. I don't know how biblically accurate that is, but I think that sometimes he helps people try to understand the Bible more versus just reading it. You get mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Putting yourself in, in, in those positions. Now, are we those people? Like you said earlier, no, we're, we're not those people because God got us on our own journey where we have to walk, but we can use their examples and use their examples for our lives to be like, okay, God, with David, he confronted 
um, a, a bully. He confronted somebody that was trying to hurt his people. So I'm I'm dealing with something right now where I'm dealing with something at my job. Give me that confidence that you gave David. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I love the path that he's on, but I sometimes I do think that's just how black churches sometimes at times yeah, it's like mm-hmm. you gotta give it them haters you know, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? and as yeah. he goes on he'll probably learn to look at the scriptures from a more humble approach that we all are still trying to learn from a humble approach yeah, like, yeah. so it's easy off the bat I remember doing the same thing attaching myself to these people in the Bible who yeah. felt betrayed or felt used or belittled and stuff so I get it um, but it's just man when you do that you're making it relatable for you, but you're probably missing the whole point the of the point, actual yeah. story. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's good. That's good. 